The United States now blasting Qatari news outlet Al Jazeera for pitching the killing of Palestinian American journalist Shirin Abu Akleh to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Now, the ICC is not obliged to take on every case, but anyone can file a complaint. And in this case, Al Jazeera is claiming to have detailed evidence allegedly proving that Israeli military forces deliberately shot Abu Akleh during clashes in Judea and Samaria with Palestinian Islamic Jihad terrorists in May. There can be no reason now, we say, not to take the next step, which is to investigate, find the persons responsible, and charge them. There, there's no obstacle. Of course, the prosecutor would have to go to the judges to request those ar arrest warrants, but, but that's what needs to take place now. Furthermore, Al Jazeera is claiming the death as part of a systematic campaign by Israel against Al Jazeera, including the bombing of Al Jazeera's offices in Gaza during a war with Hamas. Israel showing, however, that Hamas had stationed military equipment in the building and called on all Al Jazeera staff to evacuate before the strike. Then as for Abu Akleh, both Israel and the United States concluding their investigations into her death over the summer, saying that Israeli forces more than likely fired the killing shot, but that due to the Palestinian Authority's interference, conclusive results could not be inferred. For one, the Palestinian Authority immediately confiscated Abu Akleh's body from the field, removed the bullet, and withheld evidence from international investigators, which completely hampered proper ballistics probes and other examinations. In any case, even if responsible, Israel outright denying any intentional targeting of the journalist. Additionally, neither the U.S. nor Israel are members to the ICC, with the latter also questioning the court's jurisdiction. So Israeli authorities likewise repeating promises never to subject Israeli forces to the political whims of outsiders, even friendly nations like the United States. Prime Minister Lapid saying no one will investigate IDF soldiers and no one will preach to us about morals in warfare, especially not Al Jazeera. הממשלה נותנת גיבוי מלא ללוחמים שלנו. אנחנו לא נאפשר חקירות של גורמים זרים, אנחנו לא נקבל הכפשות של חיילי צהל ולוחמי שבק ומגב שמסכנים את חייהם יום יום כדי לשמור על מדינת ישראל ואזרחי ישראל. ידע כל לוחם, אם הוא שומר על החוק ועל הפקודות, תמיד יהיה לו גב רחב מאיתנו. אתם שומרים עלינו, אבל גם אנחנו שומרים עליכם. And U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price saying that the Biden administration opposes the move as well, not least because, quote, the ICC should focus on its core mission, which is serving as a court of last resort in punishing and deterring atrocity crimes, end quote.